Now at five, Memorial Day weekend is here, and the pent up demand for travel is already leading to huge crowds at South Florida airports. This is the first major holiday weekend since the pandemic brought air travel to a near halt last year. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at Miami International Airport. And Peter, what's it looking like there right now? Well, well, Lauren, the Miami-Dade Aviation Department says it now expects more than 120,000 passengers to go through this airport every day this Memorial Day weekend. It's the busiest time since the pandemic began, which is why passengers are urged to arrive early. Passengers are packing Miami International Airport. Did you expect crowds this big? No, sir. Never seen this crowd like this in my life. There is pent up demand to catch a flight. It's nice to see crowds again, in a way. Yeah, we're just excited. It's a ghost trip. I think it's nice to see everyone back out and traveling in the economy. The economy's back up and moving. Haley Marks was flying to Aruba. But I'm excited to finally be doing international travel, have a little break from work. I'm a healthcare worker, so I've been working a lot and I'm ready to have a little break. Any tips you have for people traveling? No, just have all your stuff ready to go. I had all my documents ready and it was pretty easy. It was a pretty easy check in. Allow plenty of time. The airport doesn't look super busy. The lines are really long. And it may just be because we're, there are extra protocols that have to be taken. The most important thing is uh, arrive two hours if you're taking a domestic flight. If you're taking an international flight, arrive three hours before you take your flight. Um, if you have any doubts as to what you could take through the checkpoint, go to tsa.gov. Of. Try to check in online beforehand and remember your mask. It is a state mandate. Uh, you need to wear your mask uh, once you walk into the terminal and, and on your flight. You need to wear the mask all, at all times. The Miami Airport has its own website, Miami-Airport.com. Planes will also fill the sky for the Hyundai Air and Sea Show Saturday and Sunday on South Beach. More than 400 officers will be working 12-hour shifts as barricades are set up to control big crowds and traffic. We're encouraging folks to park on these outside parking garages and then use, utilize one of the free trolleys to get over to the site, to the venue. And prohibited on the beach are alcohol, inflatable devices, tents, tables, loud music, coolers, and glass containers. Miami Beach Police say safety is a top priority. Now, new figures from the TSA show that the TSA processed 1.8 million passengers nationwide yesterday. That is still below pre-pandemic levels, but dramatically above the 320,000 passengers processed nationwide on the same day last year. We're live at Miami International Airport, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.